our team has built is something that is uh, a lot more special than I realized to begin with. You know, I mean, I knew it was special what we were starting and what we were going into, but I really didn't have any idea just how many lives that this was going to touch. The ripple effects are exponential and it is so beautiful and I'm so grateful because there's nothing like our community, nothing at all. It's what I thought that I wanted in a community and the kind of love and things that I had as an example when I was younger and um, I was 14 years old and I was lucky enough to go to my first Grateful Dead concert, you know. Saw this glass out on lot, you know. It was really, I was just drawn to it so much at a young age already, you know, and even though Jerry passed away shortly a couple months later, even I think it was, it was just that, that movement, you know, that connection of people that you see and that you're drawn to, and that's why I was really drawn to the Grateful Dead music, and then shortly after it was Fish, and, and Fish is where I really got into it, because that's when Glass really started coming out a lot more than, you know, um, Boro and Way, but I just really, I never imagined this. Uh, it's awesome. It's nice to see uh, this much energy in a show. All the people, all the sales. It's uh, it's a great show. It's the show now. Uh, there is a, really isn't anything uh, to compare to it now. They've really done a good job here. I, these guys are pros. <laughs> Like anything that you do multiple times, you get better at it. And there's still, you know, room for improvement. Uh, but they have really got their advertising and PR down to a science at this show. It's one of the things I really admire, how hard they work. It's really not just about previous to the show. It's all year round. These guys are working hard to keep their presence in mind. They show up at other shows to, you know, to keep, to be present and so they keep on top of everybody's mind and now you know there's wait lists to get into this show and uh, if you were there for the opening you know to have the buyers rush through the door the way they did on that opening night uh, that feels good I don't care what show you're at to see that happen that's that's an awesome thing um, I think it really has to do with the artists that are here this is like a family and it really is you know we all get to know each other we all become close uh, it's even though we're in competition, this is we're all in competition with each other, and yet there's this closeness. We all are giving each other hugs, we're glad to see each other, and I think that is the part of the show that's so valuable, you know, from a personal standpoint. Sure, we all come here to do business, but it's connecting with our friends and people that we only see once a year. That's the best part for me.
Fucking graduating, it's fucking awesome. But we have to come back next year. And it's actually pretty exciting though because you never want to go back to school, but you do want to come back to this one because this is good. It, it's been nice to do this show. Um, um, I, I think what's happening is really good for our industry, um, especially, you know, and, and it has taken a couple years to kind of circle back around, but there was a time when there was one really good show to do at the very beginning of the year and all the buyers came and all the artists came to one central location and then it seemed like after a little bit that show split and there was two of them and then there was four of them and then there was also Champs and there's also the Madison show. So we were looking at almost a trade show a month and that's too hard for the artists. It's too hard for the buyers. It makes you choose and it makes you split where you're putting your budget, which ones you're gonna go to. It's a hit or miss whether the artists you wanna see are gonna be at that show versus the one in two weeks. And I think what's happening now, senior year, is everything else is kind of bombing and everybody has chosen this show and it's been a huge, uh, resurgence for all of us as far as getting everybody in one place all the artists getting all the buyers in one place and i'm not gonna lie senior year has been overwhelming walking down these aisles there is so much work to see there are so many amazing artists here um, but i will say that overwhelming is better than empty hall than empty walkways uh, having everybody come and, and come to one trade show again uh, is going to be really good for our industry Yeah, the vibes are high, smiles are flowing, you know, the, the, the people are happy, it's, it's, it's good vibes. I mean, it's uh, the fact that they rep everyone equally, I feel like that's huge. You know, from the guy that nobody knows to the, you know, AKM who's flexing, you know, the, the toughest stuff. So it feels good on all sides, you know, like no one's left out and every, it seems like everyone's happy. It's like uh, magic is in the air, bro. <laughs> it's like that. So, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's for the taking, for any, anyone. It's available for anyone, is the way I look at that. After four years, I see us where I really want us to be. We have got some of the best artists in the industry behind us. They're at the show, they're demoing, they're selling. We've got a full show floor with wait lists of people that want to get in. It, we had buyers, we had lots of buyers, lots of people sold out in the first evening. It was really exciting, we're really happy about it. But it takes everybody to create that vibe. You know, when you go to a show and everybody's there, you're like, oh. You know, you go to shows sometimes and a few people aren't there, you're like, oh, I wish they would have made it. You know, and there's still a few that don't make it, but for the most part, man, it seemed like a lot of people made it this year, you know? So I was like, wow, that's, that's a pretty good vibe all in itself. And then the buyers came, which that created a better vibe for all the, all the vendors because everybody pretty much made some sales, you know? You know, Las Vegas to me was about bringing people together uh, so we can all prosper, make money, 
uh, have a meeting place where like we only if we only see each other at least once a year at least we get that moment to you know share uh, what we've created well, you know I think that's what sets us apart maybe from a lot of other a lot of other trade shows is that we really truly care about the artists we've been artist based with Glasscraft and Beat Expo for 27 years we've known a lot of these artists for many many years some of them before some of them during the International Hot Glass Invitational back in 2009 and so to see how this has just slowly grown and blossomed is so exciting and and again we feel like part of the family not just the producers of a trade show the show is run extremely well they have so much trade show experience from the bead shows that they did here and to accept us into that professionalism has also been tremendous for a lot of people I think. It actually makes us as glass blowers be less wookish. We have to be professional. There is no, oh, I'll pay you on the day of the show. You know, it's like there's so many people waiting in line to get into this show that you have to be on top of your game and it's good. That's good for business. That's good for uh, growth for everybody. It's just such a well-organized show and seeing the community all in one place I think has done really really good for for everybody's energy and so I, I'm extremely happy to be here and be involved uh, in this trade show uh, and, and it's one of two events that I really look forward to throughout the entire year. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot of mixed emotions. Uh, it's almost like a proud parent, you know, watching a kid grow. You know, I remember our first year, we were, you know, struggling and fighting just to get our name out there. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of dismissed us. Uh, we had a lot of huge supporters, so it was mixed. We were just trying to get people in. Now people are fighting to get into our show. You know, all of the work you know, blood, sweat, and tears that you've put in over the years shows, you know, that the senior year shows, you know, it's like, you know, in high school, you compare yourself from freshman year to senior, you grow, you know, and just the amount of people from going from, you know, just events, you know, to exhibitors to family, it's really, they, you grow to be family. So it's, it's been, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure seeing it as baby, become an adult kind of thing. <laughs> I have seen tremendous growth in it over the three years that I've done it. Uh, and I, I feel like with the energy that this show has, this is going to be the trade show of the year to do. Um, so I, I can only see it getting bigger and better. And as long as, you know, we do our part not to sticker up the fucking hotel and they welcome us back, we'll be, we'll be okay. Yeah, so. Las Vegas is pretty unique from an artist standpoint. Everybody's super excited. It's like a giant family reunion. Everybody gets together. It's the first show of the year that everyone's kind of here. So there's a lot of excitement about that for sure. I like the energy and I really like the buyers. I like the excitement that is brought about from the community. You guys do really well on your social media and that front. So that's probably what will keep me coming back is good sales and a good time. The backyard, oh, the backyard's the best spot in the whole show, in my opinion. <laughs> Go get some fresh air, and uh, alter your bar vibrations a bit. Yeah, no, the artwork is fantastic. I got to watch a lot of it being done too, which is really cool. I really like watching other artists. We want to make sure that there's points of interest scattered around the entire floor so that all the artists get some attention. It, you know, the floors get 
pretty big this year. And if we don't have points of interest to pull people all the way through the entire floor, somebody could get a lot less traffic. So that is our main, our main purpose. Plus, we don't want it just a boring, sterile trade show. I just can't see glass ever being boring and sterile, and we don't want the trade show to reflect you know, the industry anything than what it is. Really, really interesting, upbeat, fun, all of those things combined. Yeah, I mean, you know, all these artists, I mean, this year in 2020, it was just amazing to see what they're doing um, on this new decade. It's like, wow, you know what I mean? And the fact that Corning is representing a uh, functional glass pipe shows you that, I think. You know what I mean, it, 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 it catapults, I think, glass to a whole new level now. So I'm Eric Goldschmidt from the Corning Museum of Glass, and uh, I am the, the Properties of Glass Program Supervisor, which means that I run flame working demonstrations we do at the museum, and also some science-focused demonstrations we do. And I also try to keep a close eye on what's happening in the flame working industry. Uh, it's very important for the museum to understand what's going on, what sort of innovations are happening. And the pipe industry is, represents some of the most innovative work that's going on in flame working today. So I was excited to try to bridge some of that gap and uh, bring some of the museum to the pipe industry and bring news of the pipe industry back to the museum. Just want to continue this awesome freight train that's that's happening right now and continue to evolve and grow and grow the injured artist fund into something even more than what it is and just to continue our culture because it's so important if we don't foster it and pay attention to it and love it and grow it then it just you know it'll it'll go away so we have to give back to it as much as it gives to us so that it continues to grow and I think that glass is becoming more popular now than ever and it's becoming a lot more acknowledged by larger groups of people that never really paid attention to it and knew about it before so it's really nice to see it recognized and people you know just walking even over here carrying some of these pieces you, people just stop and stare and then wow what is that you know that's glass not just glass though, it's 
the heart and soul of the artist. There's a piece of that artist in every single thing that you see right here. That it's, uh... And then you feel connected to them and you get to know them as individuals and people and you're, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to put into words. <laughs> Thank you for making me feel at home. Thank you for making my family feel at home. Our team, we bleed Las Vegas. And um, so much passion for it. We love everybody and just it's so nice to feel love back. <laughs>